Tom Hartman here on the best of the rest of science and green news. You need to know this. Climate change is no longer a problem of the distant future. A new in-depth report called the National Climate Assessment says that the effects of rising temperatures are real, serious, and already happening. The report was released last week by the National Climate Assessment and Development Advisory Committee, which was put together by more than 250 scientists and experts. According to their report, scientists used long-term independent records from numerous sources, including satellites, weather stations, and ocean buoys, to confirm what many of us have been saying and seeing for years. The report states, Our nation, like the rest of the world, is warming. Precipitation patterns are changing, sea level is rising, and some types of extreme weather events are increasing. In fact, recent weather around our nation, like the California drought, Colorado snow in May, tornadoes in the Midwest, torrential rain in the East, are all examples of the extreme weather that this report is talking about. Economist Gary Yohei, who vice chairs the NCA committee, said that, quote, one major take-home message from this report is that just about every place in the country has observed that the climate has changed. He added, it is here and happening, and we are not cherry-picking or fear-mongering, end quote. Yet again, the experts are making it clear that we have to take immediate action to address the climate crisis. However, rather than debating solutions, many in Congress continue to argue about the basic facts. We can't afford to wait until the climate deniers accept reality. We need to remind our lawmakers that they work for us and demand that they advance some bold action on climate change. Time for debate has passed, and it's time to get serious about protecting our planet and our species. While our lawmakers bicker over the facts of climate change, college students around our nation are getting busy working on solutions. A large-scale student campaign has pushed Stanford University to divest its $18.7 billion endowment from coal. About a year ago, the group known as Fossil Free Stanford petitioned their university to move investments out of funds that include fossil fuel extraction companies. Last week, the students' hard work finally paid off and Stanford's Advisory Panel on Investment Responsibility and Licensing announced their recommendation that the university divest from all coal stock. Chairman of the Stanford Board of Trustees, Stephen Denning, said, quote, we believe this action provides leadership on a crucial matter facing our world, end of quote. In addition, Stanford's announcement serves as an inspiration for students at colleges like Harvard and Washington University who are also working to get their schools to divest from fossil fuels. Stanford's announcement proves it is possible to influence these decisions, and the students have a say in how their universities invest. The world's largest solar plant is officially operational, and it's located right here in the United States. Recently, NRG Energy and Mid-American Solar unveiled the new 290 million watt project, which will generate enough electricity to power 230,000 homes. The solar plant is located on 2,400 acres of land in Arizona, It has the power to reduce annual carbon emissions by more than 300 tons. And this plant is one of many that will soon be providing clean energy to American homes. Peter Davidson, executive director of the Loans Programs Office, wrote a blog post for the Department of Energy about the new plant. He wrote, We aren't done yet. By the end of next year, we expect all five solar PV plants in our portfolio to be completed with a combined capacity of 1,510 million watts of power. Solar plants are a great investment for our nation. They eliminate the need for fossil fuels and create tons of green energy jobs. It's clear that we now have the ability to eliminate our addiction to fossil fuels, and it's time that we get busy building even more green energy plants. If you find yourself yawning a lot lately because of lack of sleep or oxygen, might not be the cause. According to a new research published in the journal Physiology and Behavior, yawns are actually a way to cool down our brains. In order to test their theory, researchers compared the yawning frequency of people outdoors during summer and winter months in Vienna, Austria. Then they compared those results with an identical study from Arizona. They discovered that people yawn more often during warmer months and found that yawns were even less contagious in cool temperatures. In addition, the study found that yawning isn't effective at cooling down our brains and ambient temperatures are as hot or hotter than our bodies. So next time you can't stop yawning, might want to try cooling off instead of napping. And finally, Tesla is on its way to creating 650,000 new American jobs. That company wants to open a new so-called gigafactory to produce batteries for its cars and solar systems. 
So far, Tesla has raised about half of the $5 billion needed to open the factory. And when that one's done, they'll start working on the next. They're looking at locations in Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, and Texas as a possible site for their new plant, which will produce 500,000 lithium-ion battery packs a year. The electric car manufacturer wants to increase their market share by introducing an affordable electric car for the masses, which means that they'll need a whole lot of batteries to power their vehicles. Tesla's current Model S sedan sells for about $70,000, but a large part of that price comes from the cost of the car's battery. By producing more batteries and lowering the cost through economies of scale, Tesla hopes to put electric vehicles within the reach of average workers. Once again, we see good science is good business, and it's also a great way to create green, middle-class jobs. And that's the way it is for the week of May 12, 2014. I'm Tom Hartman on Science and Green News.